You've probably seen some disturbing video of a 13 year old cheerleader being forced into doing the splits. I was just thinking it was normal, like I didn't think much of it. Now, the cell phone video shows Allie Wakefield being forced into doing the splits earlier this summer in Denver. She's receiving some therapy for torn muscle tissue and a pulled hamstring. Five school officials have been placed on leave since the superintendent saw these videos. As WUSA 9's Sarah Consmo reports, those methods aren't just terrible, they're also wrong. The new science of stretching is moving away from the old adage of no pain, no gain. So it really harkens back to the old school idea of sports. As this sports medicine doctor watches for the first time. It's horrifying to watch. He's also thinking of all the injuries these young people could be getting. Pain is absolutely your body trying to give you some feedback. But even pain isn't a perfect guide. Doing the splits is complicated. When you think about all the structures around your hip involved in doing a split, we have the muscles of your thigh and pelvis. We have the tendons inserting from your adductor tendons to your hip flexor tendons. We have the stabilizing ligaments of your pelvis. And we have the labrum, which are the deep connective tissue uh, holding the leg bone to the pelvic bone. And all these areas can be injured when stretched in a dangerous or reckless way. And some of these areas have more sensation than others, and you may not necessarily feel it in that moment. For some, no amount of stretching will ever give you prima ballerina lines. Thanks to genes, the shape of the pelvis, or previous injuries. A good portion of people, if they spend the time training and gently stretching and working on it consistently with some kind of guidance, can get a lot more flexibility to include doing the splits. But there is a proportion of patients that will probably never get there. For those who are capable, it will probably take weeks, if not years, to get there. Lots of different theories about whether to bounce, whether to move, whether to do it statically. What's your take? I think that the key thing is warming up first and easing into stretches within a comfortable range. Effective and safe. In Washington, D.C., Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9.